guys, it's Georgia now. We are back to watch another episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer this time. This episode is called Beer Bad. Don't know what that means. Um, last Buffy episode, we... Buffy's kind of like still getting over this guy that she'd spoken to twice. <laughs> um, it says she, it's like taking yeah, her long to get over this one. Longer than Angel, it seems. <laughs> But it was the first time she opened herself up to yeah. someone other than Angel. Yeah, and it backfired. Who, and that was a full-on relationship, whereas this was quick. And she opened herself up quickly, and all of a sudden it just he just like to get a hand. I can't. I, yeah. I, st I still can't believe that Angel and Buffy are done. Like that's it. I'm kind of glad. What? Because that means anyone that comes into Buffy now can be. Is gonna could be her love interest. You know what I mean? Yeah, but think about Angel and that police officer. Well, yeah, but I see. Them I really together. want them to get together. I think they will, but like. I really want them to be a couple for a long time. I think that means Buffy should also have someone. But literally, and that means that anyone that comes in that is nice, like at first Parker was really nice, they could still be evil. Do you know what I mean? Like they could still be mm. someone that will die in two episodes time. Like they could be someone that yeah. goes all the way to the end with her. Because main characters in TV shows usually have an end game. Like they usually have. A person there with to the end, and that could be anyone that comes in at any time, or it could be, or it, we think that, and then they die in two episodes. Like, she could just meet them on the so last ever episode. Now. Huh? She could just meet the person on the last episode. Imagine it just time skips, and she's like, "This is my husband." <laughs> um, I know we could be Xander, but I can't see that happening. Really, no. Beer bad. Now beer goes happening? bad when there's things like things start to grow in it. Okay. Like when beers are out of date. Yeah. It starts to have like bacteria grow in it okay and it can be very dangerous bacterial growth so we haven't had an, a, a villain we can't quite see yet other than mm. a literal invisible dude that only children can see i was more thinking on the lines of how it was written like beer bad so i'm thinking like there's a caveman that's gonna turn up to a frat party beer bad like i mean all frat guys are cavemen anyway that's true might be a frat guy that is a caveman so we're always so way off with these. Oh, uh, you know what? You remember how they were like. They turned into hyenas. Frat guys could turn into cavemen. Yeah, that would be they funny. They wouldn't be the evil. You'd have to sort of fight mm. them because they would just try and kill everything that moves, probably because, you know, food. But they probably wouldn't be the evil. But you know what? You know how at the beginning of the season or whatever of Buffy, there's always like, not filler episodes, but, you know, funner episodes to get the ball mm. rolling a little bit. And they do that with Angel too. So and watching them together kind of feels like it's been a really long time since we've got some like serious story. I know, aren't we only like five episodes in? We are, but we're also almost five episodes into Angel. Yeah, so it feels like we're halfway we're through ten, a season. Yeah, and it's but still we're not, like not even a quarter. So, but someone in the comments said that this episode is like one of the best of the season that we're about to watch. So let's see if you're right. You no, know I hate it when people say that. It's because the last episode, someone said this is my second favourite episode, only to the next one of the season oh so I'm like the last episode I didn't enjoy it like I didn't think I didn't like it like I was really like oh I like that episode we always the like Halloween the ones. Yeah. I know we always do you like the more fun ones mm -hmm. I like the more serious ones and then we get to the serious ones and I'm crying and I'm like I don't want the serious ones okay, last season how the serious yeah, story was going the big thing of last season because at the end of last season I was like okay well what was that it okay we got rid of the whole mayor situation but what was the thing and I feel like the thing now was that Angel was gone like that, we lost Angel. Do you know what I mean? Like we, we lost so we Buffy were and going Angel. To. He was always that was the thing, and I didn't realise at the time. So I was like, okay, whatever. They're going to come back together as they always do, because like, they've had breaks so many times. But this yeah, time, he was it's planning like, to. For he's ages. got his own show. He's not coming yeah. back. He's making the big bucks without making any bucks. He's not charging anybody. <laughs> he started to. He did start to last episode. Go check out that reaction if you haven't seen it already. We reacted to Angel, I fall to pieces, which was a really creepy episode. Ugh. That I still don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, no, no. Um, okay, so we're just going to get into a beer bad. Are you ready? I could have a beer. Well, that won't be bad. Let's do it. Parker Abrams. Ugh. That's so normal. Is Xander going to join? Is he going to become a frat boy? Huh! This! Remember? But she walked past and we were like, what was that? Like, and we were like, does he sense that she's a, a werewolf as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, Like, yeah, yeah. and then we, nothing happened. Oh, yes, we're gonna... Yes, love an episode when it starts with a vampire fight. What episode oh, the army guy's gonna turn up. Parker? Stay down. What is he doing? 
doing on the floor. He's like, damn, now I want someone. you. I hope she gets to reject him now. Yeah. Oh, He's like, Buffy, oh, I want you. Kick. And she's like, nah. Wow, this is a sick fight. Your crush is there. After how I've treated you. This is a dream. <laughs> yeah, because most, be cool. most people would be questioning. Most people would be questioning, like, where did they go? She's got her hair down. She's mm. never outfit. This is not what she wears. The music as well. Buffy, you're a freaking acrobatic genius. Just flick a pencil at his head. Is that Buffy? <laughs> Buffy and Parker. How is she not telling them off? I love how they did that. Like, the clothes, the hair. The moves were too cool. Like, more cool than Buffy, usual. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Different versions. Oh my god, it's chef. No. Come on, Buffy, you can do better than that. I bet the end of this episode will be the closure. The end of this episode, she'll, that moment will kind of happen, but in, not in that exact way. She'll be doing something cool, he'll be like, wow, no, you're really cool. And she's like, yeah, thanks, I know, goodbye. I hope that happens. So she doesn't turn around and be like, yes. I hope something happens where he gets turned into some sort of monster temporarily and Xander gets to punch him in the face. In the penis. <laughs> Nothing can defeat the penis! <laughs> Her voice did not sound like him. I like him. He's not interested it's him. in the. It's, it's him. <laughs> he's not interested in her, is he? Can we be those men? Buffy, come on. Just learn this lesson. Don't take a drink from them, Buffy. You know what's in that. Be a bad, Buffy. Be a bad. Where's Bet Blondie's here. Mm. Oh, there she is. I have some sort of. Connection. Well, that was sibling. Right, we're losing our guess. Say something interesting. Well, At least Adam's watching out yourself. there. It's nice. Tris and so you have a hangover, you don't want to think Death about what you've done last night, and then talking out. Worth knowing, and it doesn't mean it won't be on the midterm. Why is Buffy being weird? Now, if I've been unclear in any way, speak now. Buffy! Wait. Now, before you go, make sure you Buffy, are you okay? Keep the start of the class on Monday. Them boys put something in their drink. Yeah, but then did nothing. What are they doing? But well, it's not all rapey, is it? Half the time, <laughs> especially in this show, it's all yeah. about summoning the devil yeah. or something. They're taking. They're really smart. They like make everybody else dumb so they can look really smart, maybe. But it's not even about being dumb. It's just not caring. Like she doesn't care to put her hand up and say that. She doesn't care to take that girl's sandwich. To do caveman things. You gotta like. Focused on protecting his friend. Yeah. Maybe it's not them doing it. Right. Because they're, they're being dumb it, as well. Yeah. It's like the boss. Someone was making, making it all into the college that big kids stupid. Yeah. yeah. The brand that they ordered. Yeah, Ruka's man. And they asked me to sit in with him. It'd be kind of cool if you were there. I know he's not looking to cheat or anything. But Willow's got to get cut some slack for what she did. But they worked through it now, and to let him do that wouldn't help anything. No, not to let him do that, but yeah. she's, she can't be the jealous one. That's why she's not. She's just like. Mad. She is, though. Well, she's just trying she's to help just it. Out, but she's not. See, Buffy's strength just moves like out of the way. <laughs> I knew it. Beer, bad, beer, bad. Beer, bad, bad. <laughs> I'm not sure I need to explain my actions here. But if that's what you want. Yes. We would like you to. Can't two people who feel an attraction come together and create something wonderful? Please kick him and in the face, Ross Taylor. It to be more it's than about Oz was. and... But where has this woman come she from? Too. And why is he so enthralled by her? It takes the fire out of it. I really hate this guy. It's because he's forgetting the part where he treated her like they were dating. But I am sorry that Buffy's hurting and if I misled her, I'm no, sorry not. for that and too. Yes, you did. I didn't mean to. Yes, you did. You do with everyone. I'm impressed that you care so much about her. No, you're not. You try on Verna. You're a really good liar. Okay, <laughs> then. Okay, you all right in there? Buddy? Whoa. Not it's a Donkey Kong out. punch Xander in the head. It's like Night in the Museum. Oh. What's happening to them? I'm nervous about Oz and Willow. I just want to go back to that story. 
Fire. Man, make fire. <laughs> the beer. Neat, huh? My brother-in-law's a warlock. He shot My Buffy, out. too. No. No neat. I serve them that beer. I serve Buffy that beer. Let's see if Zand uh, stopped Buffy drinking quick enough. Uh, I dare so someone can get killed. Yeah, but I mean, he stopped That's Buffy true. from drinking before the rest finished yeah. drinking. Yeah, But what he's saying is he needs to get to Buffy mm. because Buffy could really hurt somebody. <laughs> Is this episode just showing, is it just like men yeah. or animals? Like Parker's basically just a caveman mm. as well. Charles is so busy these days. Do you have one of his girlfriends? Oh my god. Uh-oh. Parker. I've yet to find a girl that I can just... That's because you don't give them more than one night. Other than Willow. Or even sit with comfortably in silence. He's so trying on with her. Yeah. Can I tell you something? Kind Falling of for it. Okay. How? I mean, I feel you've. Uh, me up. Willow, come on. I'm, I'm wondering something. He's an animal. Just how gullible do you think I am? Yeah. <laughs> I was just going to say, do you think I'm just gentle eyes mm. and your shy smile and your ability to talk openly only to me? You're unbelievable. <laughs> Find a woman, drag her to your den, do whatever's necessary, just as long as you get the sex. I tell you, men haven't changed since the dawn of time. <laughs> the dragging the women to their den. Poppy's gonna have to save Parker and Willow. Maybe not. She's a cave woman, so she doesn't want the same thing as cave men, right? Really. <laughs> Don't hit Papa. I'm not sure if they want to do her or eat her. Now it's spreading. And Parker and Willow are inside Ben building. And those two other girls. And those four guys, to be fair, they are people. Fire. Off his bell burning. Fire bad. Good Buffy. <laughs> she knows the basics. The cave Buffy know how to use fire extinguisher? I think she just threw the fire extinguisher at the fire. Oh, Buffy. <sighs> she's like part of her nose. Yeah, she's not fully gone. Yeah. She recognises Willow and part of her nose the fire extinguisher stops fire but doesn't know how to go. Wow, what a jump. What the hell's Giles? Blonde. Um, <laughs> At least say what she was wearing. He's a man who doesn't know what she's wearing. Water pipe? Maybe. What a jump. She's so clever for a cave girl. She's so aqua buffy. Wow. Do that again, but this time pick one of the girls up and put them out. Are you alright? Buffy's still in there, she's going for Parker. Get out. Nice. <laughs> oh my god. Buffy hyped go boom boom. And a quick kick in the balls though. She just wanted to hit him. Now she's gonna be savage as she inwardly wants to. This. I'm sorry for how I treated you before. It was wrong of me and I knew this is gonna happen. Do you think you could She's not gonna remember it? Wax him again. Hopefully. Yes. Looks like he won't remember it either. Oh, we got family back together. <laughs> They're like, yeah. <laughs> this way, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best episode of the season yep. for one simple fact Buffy hit him twice yes I don't think it was the best episode though That's well it was my I think it was my favorite, one of my favourites and even though it was a silly episode and not much but there was little story progressions that firstly, well, her love story progressed a bit mm, even so, if she doesn't remember it okay. probably I not to brag but I kind of I put out the plot like from start to finish. I didn't like I called the cavemen. Mm -hmm. I called Buffy, Buffy's dream fantasy happening again at the end, but not mm -hmm. in the way that she wanted it, and that she would. But you know, I kind of want her to do it with her knowing. But I guess she wasn't ready to, and now this time he will leave her alone. Willow destroyed him. That was so great. So glad she wasn't falling for it. Yeah, because I thought maybe sucked. she will because she's not getting attention from Oz, and Oz is 
like following around this other girl. That That's he... our biggest story at the moment. Yeah. Who is this girl? First, wait, I just wanted to also point out about the van at the end. Mm. What was that? Just a van. He said, I don't know, it wasn't locked. What yeah. I, my first thought was those guys with the gun. No, I doubt it. That was just a... That was just a like, it was sitting there. They, they called they, it a van, but it was just a minivan. It was just a people carrier. It makes me think, what if they're around? Because you remember when we saw them last on the Halloween night? Mm. Going towards the building. Mm. They... That threat, that episode wasn't vampires, so they might not be only mm. capturing... Because we haven't seen them kill anything, we've seen them capture. What if, you know the werewolf hunter guy? Mm. What if he started a team? But he was only after werewolves, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, I know, but what if, yeah, because he was making money. What if mm. he was like, oh, wait, look, people pay for other creatures? But that's what I think is happening. Like, I think maybe that van belonged to them and they're going to take those guys away. I don't think that van would have belonged to them. They would have gone for something more discreet with less windows. I'm just saying, like, the yeah. way you pointed it out, like Xander saying, well, Giles was like, whose van is that? And Xander was like, I don't know, it wasn't locked. Like, it was yeah, but I think that's just also for... showing that, that it's just Xander's... Because we never saw those guys during the Halloween episode. They're obviously more discreet than we give them credit for. Like, they didn't want to be seen, so they mm. weren't. They didn't want to be seen, so they weren't. Um, it was a weird point to point out. Yeah. But I don't, I don't think So I think that might be also going on. I think those guys might be capturing creatures and mm. experimenting on them, or doing something with them selling them like bounty hunters probably yeah <laughs> just maybe i don't know something. they might be the, the big bad for this season oh, they seem to be doing good like, so far buffy might kind of be like well i mean just kill them you're, you're putting them all together it makes it more dangerous what if they all got out at once like mm. that's more big, big of a threat than they could be working for the big bad of mm. the season capturing yeah to stop all the little activities and create something big. But yeah, I want to know what's going on with Oz and this guy. Yeah, so I have a main story. When they walked past each other, they were very much like, like it was not something they can control. But they recognised each other for a very, yeah. very long time ago. And mm. he smelt her or sensed her, probably yeah. smell because of his I think creature. they both, I think she might be a werewolf as well. Her, yeah. When she was singing, her presence was very like weird. Dark. like. She could be something. I was trying to listen to what the words she was singing were. All I got was ground. Yeah, it was a weird song. Yeah, that's what I got. But when Parker ground. was doing that speech, I was thinking, is this about Oz and that girl? Like, mm. why can't two people just feel what they feel in the moment, go for it, and then their lives <laughs> go back to normal the next day? I was like, mm. But it was more about just Oz opening up mm. and then trying to get his jollies on with... Uh, yeah. Willow. But it's a bit like Oz... Because at first, when she met him in the hallway, she was like, "Where were you when in class? So I got your notes mm. for you." And he was like, "What do you mean?" He was with the band. He, she said, she, "How are you fe uh, how are you feeling?" And he was like, "What do you mm. mean?" And then she was like, "Well, you weren't in class, so I assume yeah. you're ill." And he was like, "Oh yeah, I'm fine. I was, yeah, I'm fine." Mm. But he didn't say I wasn't ill. He just said I'm fine. Like, I was. He didn't say I was practicing. And then he yeah. said, "I'm with the band. Like I'm tonight. Like I'm going." No, no, he did say he was practicing oh, okay. with them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was practicing. Like. Mm. I don't know, and then I thought, okay, so maybe he's like spending time with her and not saying anything. But at the end, when we saw his face, like, yeah, like he'd forgotten what the conversation just was. Mm. Like when she walked away, like bye. He was like, like, do you think this him going, yeah, is either like I don't know what's going on. I'm not with myself right now, or I'm. Why don't I care? Why don't I care that Willow, like, is walking away from me right now? Because usually he's like, what if it's not okay? human attraction but animal attraction? As in, if they are werewolves... So he has his human attraction for Willow, but his yeah. werewolf is like his other... Because he does kind of split into two things. If he was never a werewolf, he would only care about yeah. Willow. That's, and we know that he would only mm. care about Willow. But as a uh, werewolf, he doesn't give a crap about Willow, does he? That could be an interesting concept. And would Willow accept it? I mean, she kind of has to. Mm. Because when he's a werewolf, he's not Oz. Mm. It's not Oz, though, he's no. doing someone else. It'd be someone else doing someone yeah. else. And that's just... It's, it. And it's he, what he said last episode. He said, "I know what it's like to have something that makes it, that you can't control, like mm. darkness in you that you can't control." And it's like he really is different because he becomes aware from. Then yeah. he would go out and kill people, and then they'd be like, "He'd be like, wait, was that me?" And they'd have to tell him, "Like, yeah, that was you." Mm. Like, but but at the same time, it's also not him. Kind of goes with him saying that it's too, and with you saying that he could have a werewolf attraction. Like he's two different people. Like yeah. that attraction of her, that attraction of her. Uh, yeah, I hope it, I hope it's not more than that. I'd be I'd be like okay, I understand. And that's why he's that. that's why he looks so confused when he looks at her. Not like yeah. oh, she's hot, but like yeah. Why do I find yeah. something interesting here? Like he just looks confused and like what I was. But then he lies about it, like when he's Oz. 
It's like it's it's splitting him. He's still like he's like I need to keep this a secret because my werewolf wants her. Or but then. Or he's not lying because he just doesn't have a clue mm, what's, going what's going on. on yeah. And he's trying to figure it out so much he's just completely distracted. And again, distracted. I was always practicing. Like there's been lots of times when I was like, where were you? I was like, oh, I was just yeah. didn't come in. Like, I was practicing. Yeah. I don't think it's been going on that long. Um, because we just met her. Yeah. Um, and we've been following was a story like, as soon as the first time he saw her, and I'm really, it's really cool that that happened so long ago, like the first time he saw her, and we were like left wondering what that whole scene was about, like when they walked past each mm. other. Like, when did that happen? That happened like in the second episode, I think, when Buffy and. Yeah. Well, not that long ago then, but I just felt it. Yeah, because we've been watching Angel. <laughs> yeah. But still, three episodes ago is a long time in terms of like yeah, shows to to give us a plot line. I like, guess when this case was coming out, that's three weeks ago. Yeah, you know, I can understand why that was somebody's best episode. At first, I was like, um, oh, I'm really, I really wish I didn't know that they'd said that now because said what? Because uh, that that was the best episode of the season. But one person said it to be fair. Mm. It could just be them. Like you know how you like the fun ones. Yeah. That could have been for you. Like that could have been for mm. them. But I'm, part of me is like, oh no, like, I want more story. I don't want that to be the, the, the peak, do you know what I mean? But I don't think so. The next... Okay, so we've got Angel called RM W slash A view. And I don't know what that means. RM without... With whatever, I don't know. Rap monster with a view. <laughs> so yeah, I can't even theorise on that because I have no idea what that means. RM is going to be... Well, it's capital R, little m. Mm. And then it's... W slash A is usually like a word. Yeah, I know. Like yeah. people do W slash O without. But. Yeah, it all makes sense. It'll be something we don't even, can't even comprehend. And then VU is a capital V little U, so it's. Unless it's just the person just really like that. I do want to know what the next Buffy episode is called, just because this story has me hooked more at the moment. Mm. Because we've got a story to follow a little bit now with Oz and the guys with the guns. So the next one is called Wilder Heart. I don't know if that's going to be... Wild or Heart is a cool TV show. Do you remember I showed you that? So, yeah, we'll see you in the next Angel episode, guys, and then another Buffy. Be sure to like, subscribe if you haven't already, and show some love in the comments so we know what you guys think about our reaction and the episode. Um, it'd be cool to let us know what you guys thought at this time. I think that's cool. Don't spoil, obviously, but, you know. Go follow our Instagram if you can. We post updates and memes on there about the show and funny TikTok trends and stuff like that. If you want to become a patron you can get this episode full and unedited for £5 a month. Plus tax. We'll see you in the next episode guys. Bye!